Hi guys, this is just a quick video about how to update the firmware on your Spry a waterproof uh, drone, likewise the radio control. Now I'd like to mention the first thing you have to do is to remove the battery from your Spry because you'd be using that little micro USB port that is at the base. Secondly, you get the micro USB cable that came with your Spry and plug it into your computer as is ready. The third thing is that you have to remove the propellers. And this is very important because after or during the update, the Spry risks uh, behaving erratically and you don't want to get harmed. Now, the updates Swell Pro makes uh, routinely to improve the quality uh, of your uh, product and I can see the latest update improves the flight stability sound maintaining a constant uh, height. You go to your Swell Pro website you go under support and there's a tab called download now you have other firmware that applies to their other products that's not what we need we're looking for the spry drone there you can see all downloads that apply to the spry drone and the two files that are uh, relevant in this situation is this spry firmware you can see this is for this from the six the 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 26th of February 19 and uh, likewise you have the, the firmware tool now these two files you double click on them and unpack them they are zip files so you would need a zip unpacking software if you don't want have one uh, already well I have already done that and uh, usually they go into your download uh, folder as zip files as you can see these are the two zip files and I've unpacked them here. Now if you look into the firmware file I have the one called the FWFC that's for the flight controller on the Spry and then you have the firmware for the radio just to be sure they are there. In case you're using a Mac I guess you have to use this folder because I'm using a PC so it's a little bit different. Now we go back again you go into your firmware tool. What you need to do is to run this firmware tool application, which is a program. Uh, I'd double click on the firmware tool and that is the firmware updating tool. Now, very importantly, note that it always starts on two. Two is actually your radio and we'll have to update the spry first. So what we do is we manually put it on one and then when we put it on one, we have to look for the file that we're going to update with. Device one is, again I repeat, your spry drone. So we're looking for the file we need, we double click on that, it opens a search tool. I go into my download uh, folder and I find the software that is for the flight controller and I say open now if you've done it correctly under your one column you'll see that it's already found the file that you need to update your sprite drone and it's written there the next thing you do is you take your micro USB and plug it into your drone now it's difficult for me to do it with one hand so I'll just uh, I do it with two hands and then I'll continue. Okay, I've plugged in the micro USB on the Spry and you can see there's an LED that lights up telling you uh, that there's a connection and the PC makes a noise and it's your tool will say that it's ready. Now all I do is I click update. It starts at some point in time as you can see, the percentage is increasing. It's updating the firmware. And 100%. So, 
that's ready and that gives a noise the lights uh, constant now that that is done I unplug my micro USB cable and I do likewise with my remote control and the micro USB socket is down there so I'll just use two hands and get back to the video okay the micro USB is now connected and the blue light indicator light uh, shows there and what you do is you switch on your radio then you go into the tool like we said change it now to device 2 which is your remote control it says click to select the firmware file for device 2 we go there and we select the firmware for the radio transmitter and we say open now that if we did it if you did it correctly you should see it under device 2 which is your uh, radio uh, firmware now a minor detail you click on the percentage it goes to zero and it tells you that it is updated now that beeps and the light change changes to green telling you that it has been updated and it shows a hundred percent with that done you're safe to switch it off and unplug it so that's safely unplugged now and uh, my spry and its radio controller is updated so i'm safe to install my propellers and fly again remember this is just a guide the guide about updating can also be found at the spry uh, website update information how to update uh, this is just a guide video remember use it at your own risk and uh, always be sensible and make sure you know what you're doing before you try it safe flying